The tool that I use every day is perplexity. In this video, I'll show you my favorite ways of using it. I'm Andrew Chu. Welcome to my channel, Andrew Learns AI. If you like this video, smash that like and subscribe button where I'll dish out tips and tricks for you on a regular basis to empower you. And here are the three favorite ways of using it. AI search, pretty smart. Life's manual, step-by-step -step instructions of so many complicated things. Net it up for me, feed it anything, and it returns just the gist of it. First up, AI search. Unlike Google search, where it'll point you to many links and you got to read through it to figure it out, Perplexity searches the website and gives you one good answer. And it'll point you to all the references for you to go fact check or read more about it. Here's an example. Say I'm reading Moderna. I look at the news. One of the recent news is Merck and Moderna initiate phase three to evaluate sort of like vaccine and it has something to do with lung cancer. So that's interesting. And then a question comes to mind. Okay. What is Moderna doing with cancer treatment? And now with the rise of AI, how are they leveraging it? And so if I had that in mind, and if I go into Google and say, I put in Moderna and cancer treatment with AI, and I do a search, well, it gives me a lot of links and I need to do some work to read through it, to figure it out. Now, if I, go into chat GPT. If I do a search with the same question, Moderna and cancer treatment with AI, it gives me an answer and it gives me the appropriate links, which is not bad. Now compared to perplexity, and here's why I like it. It does a very good job in searching and presenting the different sources, even the answer itself breaks it down very nicely to tell you in depth what mRNA technology is in cancer treatment, the role of AI in cancer treatment. It does a pretty good job also giving me related logical questions that I can further do my research. What types of cancer are being targeted by Moderna's vaccines? I can click into it. It'll give me all the sources and it's just the layout, the output. It's so clean. It's so structured. It's easy to follow. I will peel the onions, read on and on about it. This is one of my favorite use cases. In fact, I'm going less to Google now and a whole lot more into perplexity for my searches. And here's my use case too. Life's manual. I go to perplexity. Every time I've got a question, I'm stuck with using an application. I'll ask it to give me a step-by-step -step detailed instructions. And it does a pretty good job giving me a walkthrough of all the steps that I can easily follow. Let me show you an example here. Recently, it really happened to me. I had this video clip. Um, when I used the VLC, it was in the wrong orientation. I was stumped. I didn't know how to rotate it in VLC. I went to perplexity and what did I do? It's my life manual. I just entered, I have a video clip. How do I rotate video in VLC? Give me step-by-step -step detailed instructions. I let it run. And it did a pretty good job. I had no idea where to look for that particular adjustment feature. I could follow the detailed instructions, go to tools, effects and filters in adjustments, effects window appears, click on video effects and navigate geometry, click transform. And I would save and close and it will go on to also tell me how to make it a permanent rotation.
presentation. It gives further details step by step, which I can follow and make this orientation permanent. That's a fantastic use case, a lifesaver. And my third use case is netted out for me. So sometimes when I read a very long article, I just want a gist of it. What do I do? For example, if I were to read Straits Times, and here is an interesting article, Trump's Comeback, Outlook for Singapore and Asian, written by Tommy Koh. And it's a fairly long article. What I would do is I would just copy the whole thing and go into perplexity where I'll just paste. It will go in as a text file. And here I simply say summarize the key points. I just click proceed. It nets it out for me. So in this case, it says here's a summary of the key points of the article and he'll return to a White House. The US-Singapore relations are expected to remain good during the Trump's second term, which is a very good thing for us. And Trump has a favorable attitude. Thank you for summarizing that. It says here also that Trump's record with ASEAN is more problematic. That's interesting. The beautiful thing about this perplexity is that for the curious mind, you can have follow-up questions. So why is Trump's record with ASEAN more problematic? And it'll go beyond the article to tell me more. And it will also give you other links. It will go beyond the article that we can read further and do our research. Perplexity also has a couple of bells and whistles. I'll just highlight some. Um, over here, you could select the focus and you could choose web. We saw that it was quite powerful. It searches across the internet. You could have it a more academic focus where it'll search research papers. You could have a math focus solve equations and find numerical answers. You could have a more creative approach with this option or just get it to search through videos or social websites, so and so forth. Under the attach, you can load images, text, PDFs, and it will be smart enough to read through and make sense out of those items that you upload. Here for the paid version, you go on Pro, which is a more sophisticated, more thorough search. Uh, as a free user, you get limited use of that. Once that expires, then you become non-Pro and you'll get some basic search features, right? There you have it. Perplexity, this is the tool that I use daily. Hope you have enjoyed this. Do check out my other videos where you can learn more about how AI can supercharge your life. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like and subscribe button where I will love to give you more of such tips and tricks to empower your AI journey. See you in my next video. Have a good one.